Are you ready? Here we are. 6.30 Arizona time, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, and welcome, one and all, to the Lady Death Scorched Earth live Kickstarter preview. Before we get into the stuff, I want to show you that there are a bunch of lunatics here. And Jimmy, let's go run through HQ. Woo! <laughs> it's just spread Woo! out this time. Look at these lunatics. Come here, over here. What, 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 what? Now we just invite people and they eat. <laughs> hey! Cocktail! Over here, drink your cocktails. Yeah. Places. Now everybody just sort of spread out. It's crazy, man. So, uh, hey, there's Monty Moore over there, man. Say hello. Yeah! <laughs> We're getting ready to do this thing live. We got people in the house hanging out, and if you're good, you can join us with a little of that. You know what I'm saying? What if you're bad? What if you're bad? You're in the. <laughs> if you're bad, you're in the right place. Say hello to our official bartender, coffee house bartender Sam, etc., etc. We got the Pedersen family in the house. Swarm, man, swarm, man. Hey, uh. Come on, let's go talk about some Kickstarter stuff. Whoa, 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 I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, take a moment and mention that a member of Fiend Nation is encountering some challenges, and that is my boy Josh Grimsley, his lovely wife Jennifer. His two daughters are going through some serious health challenges, and I just want to let Fiend Nation know that we are in communication with Josh and his family. We love him very much, and we are working with him to have a better understanding of what his needs may be. And as we know, we will let you know. and. Uh, I think he says love to you guys too. We want to let you know that we understand that they're having an issue and that uh, as, as the Arch Fiend, I am in communication with him and we're going to make sure that things run smooth for Josh and his family. Right now we're just sort of all trying to understand exactly what their needs are going to be financially, etc. and then we'll address them. So um, I just want to say that at the top. So check this out, man. You know, every once in a while we like to do these things called a kickstart. So tonight... What we're doing is we're doing a Lady Death Scorched Earth Kickstarter. We've been working hard, right, Nick, for a while? We have. <laughs> are you ready to launch tonight at 7? We are. I, I'm, I'm the official button pusher. That's right. Leave that, leave that. Leave that. No, I'm going to get the got this. It's a white button now. So that's the one thing. I am so afraid when <laughs> it's the one. Nick and I actually build the Kickstarter together, and, you know, he does the lion's share of the work, but when it comes to pushing that button, man, I don't go near that thing. <laughs> anyway, so Lady Death uh, Scorched Earth. This is chapter nine in Lady Death's history. Uh, Lady Death comes to Earth. We are, we are picking up from the story Apocalyptic Abyss, where at the end, Lady Death is raging a giant battle in hell, and Hell Witch actually stabs her in the eye, but she gets away, and things happen, and now in our story, she comes to Earth. So what we've done is we've hired Hell Witch artist Diego Bernard to illustrate our story. And please take a look at some of the wonderful work by Mr. Diego Bernard. And there's Lady Death with an eye patch, which is already controversial for some people. Please tune in and consider backing our project and learn if she keeps that eye patch or not. Is it permanent? I don't know. You'll have to read. There's some of her allies, including Wargoth. They're fighting against this, uh, this group called the Halo Corporation, who are intent on sampling the DNA of supernatural people and using it for nefarious purposes. So you'll see the intricate detail of Diego. I think he brings a, a great quality. He's another uh, South American artist. And speaking for myself, I have a long history of working with South American artists. I think we just all vibe together really well. And, and here's yet another page. And you can hear the, the savages in the background. Brandy was kind enough to just close the door for a minute while we take a look at these cool pages. Um, there's Chaotica. She's going through something. Check out that page. The top of this page, this is a new foe. His name is Gage. He is a hired assassin, hired by Halo, actually, to uh, extract the DNA of the character Hellslinger. Here's Lady Death arriving on the scene with a couple of new characters. And a little later on in the story, Lady Death is pissed off, and she actually realizes and learns that on Earth she actually has a, more power than she has in Hell. So hence this 
she could pull down this intense lightning and you know show up like a badass mf and take out take out some halo corp punks and goons anyway so yeah late death chapter nine scorched earth this is uh, the next chapter and people like the collectible element to what we do so i'd like to introduce you to some of the cool covers that we have in editions so the first edition is by series artist diego bernard allison rodriguez and miss cc de la cruz and a little sidebar on cc de la cruz cc's colored hundreds of interior pages for us hundreds of covers and I said recently in an email to her that I think that she really is the, the color style of uh, Coffin Con. She's just so great. Fun cover. Now to your right is the homage cover. And this is clearly homaging Golden Age Captain America number one. And instead of fighting Nazis, uh, Captain Death is fighting Satanus. And instead of having the old uh, shield shaped as it was, it's shaped like the good old Coffin, Coffin Comics. And to the right is a, a new contributor, Nathan Surdy. Nathan is, this is going to be the Jewel edition, and what you're looking at is simply a mock-up. To the right is the Naughty edition by first-time contributor, Jay Anacoletto. He's pretty rad. I think this is a beautiful image. First time ever, Jay Anacoletto. I've been wanting to have him on a late-up cover for years. So exciting. To the right, our frequent returning contributor, Dawn McTeague, total rock star on her own, is contributing our Holofoil cover. That is a Holofoil edition cover. To the right, our hardcover. Now, clearly not a hardcover, but this is the uh, a mock-up of our hardcover by Paolo Pantalena and Arif Prianto. And then to the right, this is uh, the metal cover called the Heavy Metal Edition. This is by Colette Turner, colored by CC. Beautiful, exquisite detail. These particular editions make what I would call the base of our Kickstarter campaign. And then sometimes we will group them together in different tiers. So another tier we have is called the High Roller. The High Roller tier, which is offered for $299, includes all the aforementioned editions, plus what we call the Chase Cover. So imagine this. Here's the one and only David Finch, popular artist on Batman, has contributed a Chase Cover. So what it is, is six color variations, each limited to 66 copies, and then backed up by six color editions limited to one, six Omega editions. So feast your eyes on all these different beautiful color variations. The main color variation is colored by Frank D'Armata, that is David Finch's regular colorist, and the balance of the color editions are by Cece De La Cruz, frequent contributor. Now, another element of the upper tiers, including things like the uh, high roller, is, is this in the high roller? I think this is the high roller. This is the, uh, the sketch edition. So specific to, uh, specific to the, sh the tier. Then one up from that, we actually have what we call the mega baller. And so the mega baller will include everything that was aforementioned, plus a mystery envelope, and then a metal jewel edition. And this is just a mock-up. This will have jewels in it and a negligee edition and so that is the paper version that can be graded and then the uh super awesome go ass edition by go, the, ass. go ass Woo! Woo! Yeah. I like ass. <laughs> all right you learn something God, new about Randy. people you work with every day look at her embarrassed face jimmy no. <laughs> get in the coffin get in the coffin <laughs> So yeah, this is the, the Go Ask. Get a nice look at that by Eric Basaluda, colored by Sabine Rich. Beautiful. That's a little taste of those pieces. Amazing. Now another element that we're introducing in this particular Kickstarter is what we call Lady Death Masterpieces, The Art of Lady Death, Volume 1. This is uh, a look at over 10 years of Lady Death art. Let me show you how it's presented. It comes in a box and then a slip case. And then the actual book in this case, whoops. I'll switch it around here. I can do it. This is the actual main edition with cover by Mike Crone. It's nine and a half inches by 12 inches. It features art by everybody. Nice square bound. I'd like to point out to you that the bindery we spent extra time on, it's called Sewn Hewn Bindery. The interior end leaves are coffin red. And then let's take a look at some of the pages of this edition. Classic imagery. DeBalfo, McTeague, Turner, Silvestri, Archer, Mendoza, 
Alex Ronald, Elias Chadzudis, Sora Song, Nii Rafino, David Harrigan, Jamie Tyndall, uh, uh, Genevieve Broomhill, Diego Bernard, Monty Moore, Frank Cho. There's over 197 images by some of the top artists in the field. And this is what we call the main edition. On the Kickstarter, this will retail for about 80 bucks. And then we have what I call the signed special edition. The cover is by Sabine Rich. And this will feature a coffin-shaped book plate, which will be popped in here. And then this special edition also comes in the slipcase. It's kind of cool, the slipcase says, Lady Death Rules. She does. And on the bottom it says, Long Live Lady Death. And that special edition will also come with an exclusive 9x12 mystery print two mystery metal cards and two holofoil cards pretty crazy so as the as the campaign uh continues i want to show you more of this but check it out for now let's go do an interview maybe with uh, mr mike mclean what do you think Nick? Cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> savages hey where's that mike mclean so what's up right there? how are you sean hello hello hey come on over here mike so this is Mike McLean, co-writer on Lady Death's Scorched Earth. We just smashed through the throng and just wanted to uh, get your feelings about the story. Uh, how you? What would you like to tell folks about Scorched Earth? Well, you want me to go into the plot or some of the behind the scenes? Let's go behind the scenes because I told folks about some of the plot. So behind the scenes, what I have to tell you about Scorched Earth is um, we had a story set to go, just to give you an idea of the work that goes into this. We had a story, worked on it probably for a couple months. Yeah. Just wasn't right. Um, something missing. Yeah. And I agree. And it was good. It would have been fine. But just wasn't right. So we went back to the drawing board. Yeah, we scraped that entire story. Exactly. We were done. We were like, okay, we got to go again. It was good, but just a little something missing. And I'm so glad that we did because I am very proud of the work that we did on Scorched Earth. Oh, yeah. And, um, it's, I think people are really going to like it, and a lot of highs and lows. And yeah, I mean, Scorched lows, so Earth actually sets the scene for the next three years of Lady Death storytelling. You know, we have Scorched Earth, and then in August we'll release Blasphemy Anthem. And out of Blasphemy Anthem, if you were at FiendFest, you kind of know we were tipping people off. I don't know if I'm going to tip anybody off now. But um, what else can you... Uh, you know, here we are right here and now. Anything you want to say to the folks out in uh, the globe? Well, you know, always big thanks for the support. I'm looking forward to seeing what the, the Kickstarter will do. But I can't I, even I, imagine. I, I'm just blown away by the support so far from all the Kickstarters. Um, I love writing these stories. It's, a, it's both a, a pleasure and an honor. And um, I just I hope I keep on doing it for quite some time. That's, that's pretty much that's our the goal, right? Yeah, just so you guys know, I mean, I guess you're kind of stuck with us because this, uh, this is... This is what we intend to do for a long time. So. I'm totally fine with that. This is not a bad gig. <laughs> As you can see, sitting around all these great art pieces. No, it's, a, a beer and it's amazing. Yeah, it's tough work. Tough well, work. thanks, Mike. We're going to catch up with you again. See you at Facebook meet. land. See you at Facebook land. Uh, hey, while we're here, uh, where's that kid? Hey, you, want some more? Yes. I am here. We're talking about Feed Fest. Look at this We kid. were talking about Feed Fest. What did you, you feel about Feed Fest? It took me four days to recover. <laughs> And that's being kind. I love some people, like on Friday night, we're drinking some of that shine, and then we didn't yes. see them. Yeah. Like, that was it. There were pictures that I posted, and I think that that might happen again tonight, because there's yes. kind of this whole it might. revived with the living dead happening tonight. <laughs> yeah. I, it was, was a lot of black hair. Yeah, you know, what's crazy for me was like, I was drinking it too, but I just felt so invigorated. It was as if it just straightened me out. And I know for some people, it just laid them out, and that was it. It wasn't a laid out, but I think it, there might have been some embalming fluid <laughs> in the beverages. I think, uh, I think but so. But it was just that we were reliving some some uh, some good wild times. And Michelle and Eric Pedersen coming all the way out, super yep. fiends. Yep, yes, we were talking mm -hmm. about some, some, Hi guys. some wicked commission, <laughs> things that were done, things that might happen in the future. So uh, just uh, it's just it's uh, super rocking to be involved. So speaking of which, Monty, come on over here. Uh, we're by the bar, by the way. <laughs> I love that it's by the bar. That's right. <laughs> so this is your cover for the upcoming Lady Death Lingerie 1. Correct. Mm -hmm. So Lady Death Lingerie 1 will be an incentive. If we can hit a certain milestone of funding on the next La Muerta campaign in May, this will be the cover, and inside will be 
22 to 24 images that are all new by the top in the field. We're talking Dawn, Sabine, you, Chrome, the list goes on. So anything you want to say about uh, being chosen for this or your feelings about it? Uh, I'm not worthy, but I appreciate <laughs> it. So No, it's just, uh, uh, I, I just still feel blessed even after, it's been about four or five years now. Yeah, we uh, reconnected. Since, yes, uh, and we've known each other uh, since Brian was in the industry early on and always knew what each other was doing uh, and we're just kind of doing our own thing and, and when I heard that you were taking the reins back over I was like well I got to reach out because now's the right time so yep. it's been a great ride and yeah, uh, great times. I'm, I'm more excited about what we haven't done yet than what we've already done. We do have, we have made some cool announcements at Fiend Fest too. We announced that Monty is doing a series of seasonal fine art print covers called Seasons in the Abyss. Correct. So you'll see more about that soon. Yeah. Sound Art cool, Sam? Sounds great. Art awesome. Nouveau style. Totally Art Nouveau wicked. style. Yeah, very, very unique. And uh, the, cool. the fan response was fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. I'm excited about that. Well, thank you, yeah, Monty Moore. Absolutely. Hang out. We yeah. got I'm going to bring you back to some of the preview action. And soon we're going to be launching. I know. But while we're here, come on. Hey, folks, how you doing? Come on in to, uh, we're live here on Facebook. And while we're talking about the Kickstarter premiere, I wanted to tell you about a special tier, which is called the Lady Death One Reckoning Homage Edition. And this is by Mr. Dan Mendoza. We're gonna actually offer it as its separate tier and it's three books. The three books will actually be number matched. They're by Dan and they're an homage to the work of Stephen Hughes. So three editions, we call this the classic, the silver and the gold, Dan's own special tier for all his fiends. While I'm here, I wanted to take a moment, and Jimmy, if you get to kind of look at this, uh, we're in the uh, Polito Archive, and we just had Fiend Fest. So the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to include some artifacts from Fiend Fest, if you take a look over here, in one of my shelves. So we're officially going to put them in, and, and then this is where they will stay. So I was thinking right here where, where Evil Ernie is. Going to add these cool elements. Not to diss Ernie. I really like this cool holofoil sticker we did. And here's my personal Arch Fiend credentials. Just think about putting it right there on that corner. Maybe I'll make it a little neater later. And I personally love the sticker, so the sticker's going in there too. Maybe we'll make that neater, but this is the Polito Archive. These are some of the draws where I have my cool little paper littles. Hey, let's continue the tour. Come on, man. Whoops, I'm not going that way. <laughs> oh, we're ready. Hey, hey. Watch out. So part of what we do on Kickstarter is we offer prints because people like prints. You guys like prints? Yes. What's with all these black shirts over here? Oh, we blend. Look at all these black shirts. <laughs> Pres <laughs> Presidente <laughs> liquoring it up with her whiskey. <laughs> these guys are all a bunch of hands. <laughs> Julian's over here. He's our newbie and he's like, who did I join up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wonder. We what scare him on a daily basis here? with the, uh, the whiskey. <laughs> wow. The, so one of the things that we like to do is offer print sets. And people enjoy them. So I'm letting you know that some of the things we're offering is the commemorative print, the naughty commemorative print, and then this is our first print set we call Scorched with art by Eric Basaluda and Nathan Surdy, Stephen Butler, Colette Turner, even... Hello, Pantalena. Take a look at it for a second. Then we have print set number two. It, this, is a, this is a pretty beefy print set. Jesse Witchman, Dan Mendoza, Eric Basaluda's Go Ass Image, and then David Finch. Uh, we also have an image by Genevieve Bromhill, which we're not showing, but it'll be part of the, part of the Kickstarter. Now we also have a tradition of doing a uh, metal print. So our metal print, let me put this in the, in the, our metal print for this particular campaign is by Jamie Tyndall and this one's called uh, Cyber Death. And Jamie did this image a couple years ago, but it was under direction that one day our latest storyline is gonna kind of head in this direction. So this Cyber Death image is sort of a foreshadowing of something that's gonna happen in uh, the year 2022, literally. So we haven't plotted out that far. Another thing that people tend to like is our 
our cool Metallic cards. So we have Metallic cards this time by Bud Root, Jesse Wichman, again, Eric Basaluda, Genevieve Brumhill. So there's some pretty cool metal cards. They'll be limited to 199, they're serial numbered, and uh, we usually match the numbers for each set. Now you may have heard that a superstar artist named Adam Hughes is making a contribution. And I'm gonna show you one of the things that uh, we've done in cooperation with Adam, which is the image that he did for the ultimate set is actually going to be a fine art print. So this is the fourth in our series of fine art prints, uh, archival quality inks and paper, beautiful Adam Hughes art. This is probably the most accurate representation of the work. Uh, we work with a fine art printer to achieve this look. And this print will be available as a fine art print, limited ultimately to 199. I noticed this is, I'll show, show that again, Jimmy. This was a proof and I realized that is the wrong logo. She's not Hellborn, <laughs> so we'll change that for the actual edition and we'll keep it. But um, yeah, that'll be limited to 99 and it's offered through the Kickstarter for what? I think it's 99 bucks. That includes shipping, etc. So before I get into the, um, the Mr. Envelope, let's go back. I want to talk to you about the value proposition of backing a Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that all of our Kickstarters offer the following. Free U.S. shipping. All physically shipping Kickstarters will get all our unlocked stretch goal packs. And you may have heard how fun and wild they are sometimes. You also get a free digital download and a free autograph by yours truly, which is optional if you so choose. And I also want to say this without sounding obnoxious, but we do offer expert shipping. So if you haven't uh, received something from us, maybe some of the fiends out there could comment and back me up on this. Uh, last year we shipped over 13,500 uh, shipments and the damage ratio or lost damage mess up was 0.93 so we're always looking to improve that but just want to assure you that we really care about your stuff and we want to ship it the way you want to get it so without further ado we also have an element called the mystery envelope and hang on let me do a time check Can I have a time check please what do we got 652 Okay, eight minutes till we launch, so I want to show you a couple things uh, rather quickly if I can. So, um, and so do me a favor, Julian, give me a two minute warning. I will. Thank you. So, this is the uh, Lady Death Scorched Earth Mystery Envelope. So, the Mystery Envelope actually, it does come in an envelope and it explains exactly what's in it. No particular edition is over uh, 50 copies, so I'm going to show you what some of them are. So, at the top, we have what we call the Obsidian Edition. This is limited to 13 copies, 10 of which will be put into the mystery envelope with art by Mr. David Finch. We have very, very low print run on the premiere edition by Bill McKay, nice and naughty. Now I heard some feedback from some people who were upset that the print run is very, very low, but by the same token, I would encourage you to consider just the fun of having low print run books. This is authentically low print run. It's not like a major comics publisher who calls something limited to 5,000 as actually uh, limited. I mean, this is really, really, really limited to 40 copies. You know, Bill got paid his right amount. We paid our printer, but we just want to make it fun for people. Same thing with uh, Richard Ortiz premiere, nice and naughty, limited to 40 copies. We have the Dan Mendoza, nice, naughty, lingerie style, limited to 40 copies. It's got to be one of the lower print runs on Dan. And for Dan fans, I apologize in a sense, because I know everybody wants Dan's stuff. That's why we have that homage tier where you can kind of get it but good luck on that one and then this is the Ryan Kincaid process edition where we show Ryan's pencils Ryan's inks and then ultimately his color and they're limited to uh, 40 30 and 20. Now another interesting tier we have in the mystery envelope is what we call the reckoning uh, reverence editions and this is the artist Yo-Yo retelling Lady Death's origin uh, it, in different key moments of her life so here she is uh, burned at the stake condemned to hell, kicks ass in hell, and seems triumphant. So there are actually 25 images of this theme and we'll be unveiling them throughout uh, the 25th anniversary. So next up we have Dawn McTeague Raw Editions. Uh, Dawn McTeague's work is tremendous and this is a great way to see the actual work. They're each limited to 50 copies. They're all part, if you go take a look at the whole thing, uh, of our Lady Death Scorched Earth Mystery Envelope, which is limited ultimately to 666 copies. So let me ask you guys and gals a question. Would you like to see the ultimate tier? Because that's what we're gonna do next, so follow me. 
from all these crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, where are we all set up? <laughs> Hang on a second. Jeff Fang, get set up. We're almost going. Jeff Fang, get set up. We're almost going. <laughs> so Jeff Fang is our, uh, he's our lucky charm. So he's magically delicious. He's magically delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that might be wrong. <laughs> so guys, take a look at the ultimate tier with the art by Mr. Adam Hughes. Oh, that's where, this is where, it's almost 7 o'clock, where automatically all the lights in the It was on purpose so that you could see the lights in the eyes. Welcome back. <laughs> happens every time um, our lights go off automatically at that time so check it out so this is the ultimate tier Adam Hughes you got the full color edition I think this is the noir edition and then the virgin the virgin holofoil edition <laughs> they are limited to 77 copies the set will come number matched as part of the ultimate tier also because you demanded it there'll be a Kickstarter edition and uh, 11 by 17 cover tier so uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's the ultimate tier. Hopefully you guys find all this stuff interesting. What kind of time do we got, Sean? It is 6.55. We got five minutes left before oh, I got start. five minutes. This is great. Five all right, cool. I got a chance Perfect to have a beer. Time. You guys have a beer with me before this happens? So, okay, let me get back here. So anyway, guys, F and Adam Hughes, man. I mean, I think he knocked it out of the park, and this is our ultimate tier. Adam Hughes is a big dog, and this is going to be limited to 77 copies. Only way you can get it. Sometimes people complain. They say, Brian, why didn't you know why isn't this limited to two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand? It's like, look, man, an element of comics that is fun is collectability. And the idea of taking these tremendous artists, you know, your Frank Chos, your art germs, your your Ebass, your your Adam Hughes, is to make editions that are so delectable. I just love it. So come with me, let's have a beer and let's get ready to let's get ready to launch. So, got a couple minutes here. Gonna have a beer. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna have a bit more beer. Yeah, we're still hanging out in here. That's fine. Hey, Sam, can I have another Corona, please? Got it. Hopefully, you guys are having some beers out there. If you listen to the old Rob Zombie. Boy, I got through that premiere pretty fast. So, that's an example of everything that we're gonna have to offer during the Kickstarter. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Not including some of the surprises that are gonna come along the way. You think we're gonna have some surprises, Monty? Yeah, there might even be some napkin art. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really know what's going to be on it yet, but it could happen. <laughs> napkin art. You heard it here first. <laughs> We're doing napkin art? You've got to start somewhere. Napkin. So let me interview you guys and gals. And how did, what was your experience of Fiend Fest for folks who weren't oh uh, there? Oh, Fiend Fest was amazing. What would you like about it? The artists meeting you, of course, but we see you pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> and you're popular. We're local. Um, all the fiends that were there, trading with the fiends, talking with the fiends, having something common with everybody, um, meeting the creators, uh, especially the writers, Joel Gomez, you know, we met DeBalfo, Monty did some art for us, it was amazing. We loved it. We got to see Brandy a lot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. Sean, what did you think about Fiend Fest? Fiend Fest was amazing. It was great to see all these people coming from all over the country. We had some awesome guests even from, my highlight was the moonshine that we got all the way from North Carolina. Yes. That was fantastic, so shout out to- Two yeah. minutes yeah. till, yeah. sorry. Yes, two minutes, two minutes. minutes. otherwise it was oh my, god. oh my god, two minutes, oh my god, two minutes. Let's do this. Double fisting. Double fisting with oh my Randy. God. Wow. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where your mind's at. It sounds like a beautiful night. <laughs> well, sounds we, like a beautiful night. We only have a couple minutes till oh. launch. Oh. 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 Party! Oh. Get that out of my face. What's up? Uh, <laughs> One minute. Oh, God, here we go. Number 14, right, Nick? Yeah. All right, so you guys get ready to time. Number 15, rather. Go. Oh, boy, here You're we go. You're going to have to beat me even for a minute. One minute. Actually, yeah. All right, so we have Nick G, and then we have Jeff Fang, our secret weapon, four leaf, human four-leaf clover. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Jeff made it extra dramatic, where I guess Bridget was getting out late, so it's like, you know, right to the You're very right, edge. Right. Bum, right to bum, the bum. end. Bum. So how we doing? How we doing? 50, 30 seconds! Oh, no. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, um, I got a request. For all the people who are at Fiend Fest, for all the fiends who have been kind enough to support Coffin Comics, during this campaign, I'd like to ask you to reach out to one person, maybe a lapsed Chaos Comics fan. Reach out, 
And I, if you want to share, that's one thing. I'm talking like call them up and say, hey, man. Yo, whoa, okay. Five seconds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five, seconds. Four, Five, Five whoa, whoa, whoa. three, two, Time two, 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 one. Happy Jason! Hey! Uh, <laughs> did it? Did it's going. 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 It's live. <laughs> it's alive. And so now what Nick is doing is he's reposting. Yep. It's at zero. Oh, come on. Zero. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, still zero. What's up? Uh-oh. 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 Wi-Fi. Give him a second. <laughs> Anybody else have a second opinion? Up. Here we go. I have no idea. Should be going. So it's, it's live. It's here. It's oh, there it's you go. Three percent already. Here. Oh, here it's we go. Here. Oh, well, it said. Hang on. Oh. It's thinking. Oh, oh. It's thinking. Oh, that's weird. Okay, here we go again. Something okay. peculiar. It's, it's going. It's, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Look at that. Four ninety nine already. Right back. back. Three. Three right back. Look at that. It's going. Going. Yep. Going. I think we broke the internet. No, no. Let's let's pray to the <laughs> comments. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Twelve, so 18, 21 backers. Oh. So are we timing? Okay. Yep, we're timing. You're at sixty seconds now. Oh no. We're, okay, we're way over. You're over. We're what? Click it. Click it. Click it. Funded. 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 Who got that? What was the time? Funded. 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 One minute. Not yeah. A minute. One minute. Oh, a minute. It was faster than a minute. Yeah. One faster minute and a refresh. Forty-five. Oh, oh, the lights. Hit the lights. Hit the lights. Right, Jay. The light. right, Jay. <laughs> so powerful it kills our electricity. Jesus, Jimmy, just look at it go, oh, man. Crap. Yeah, look at this. It's insane. One million dollars. Oh Whoa. my God. Whoa, Eighty-seven backers. Oh my <laughs> lord. Dear God. God. I know the count is going to keep going. Forty-two. We broke Kickstarter. In the first minute, forty-three. Forty four. Whoa, 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 whoa,
73. So this is what, okay, so this is kind of amazing. Here we are, even today, it just showed up in Francisca's Facebook feed that we completed the first ever Lady Death Kickstarter four years ago, and we realized $76,000, which was fucking incredible, pardon my language, and we are about to surpass that in a whole different time frame. Five minutes. Five minutes. So, I mean, what, what you gotta say is Fiend Nation. Okay, Troy, talk to the people, man. The Fiend. What do you got to say? The ambassador is in the house. Long live Lady Death. Keep it simple. Yeah. The oh. nation. It's true. It's truly incredible. You never know, man. We uh, like behind the scenes. You know, we. I don't know what. To so say. What behind say? the scenes, um, like at our house. So there's a lot of. You don't have to out me as like a nervous wreck. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no not that. The, the sheer no, amount. I'm cool of... all the time, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the sheer amount of commitment to making each Kickstarter even better than the last one keeps this man al alive, 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 and up at night. So all he's ever worrying about is: is this Kickstarter better than the last Kickstarter? Is this Kickstarter going to give everybody that's you know participating in this just like the next level of awesomeness? So. Thank you for being part of this all the time. We appreciate it so much. And, keeps um, us out of trouble. And it uh, keeps me out of trouble. Whiskey. Yeah. Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey. I feel, like a sh I feel like a shot of shine coming up. I don't know. Oh, I, I think so. I think so. Oh, yeah. Well, we're getting there. Maybe for fun, if we lucky enough to hit so 100 yeah. in a reasonable time frame, let's do a shot. You know? Of course. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 let's go, people. Black shirts in the house. We want some shine. Put us over. Put us over. Uber for everybody. So it's really not my place. Wow. You mean to say that out loud? It's really not my place, but every 80, once 80, 80, 80, 80, Totally not my place, but you know sometimes at a moment like this we like to celebrate. We've yeah. celebrated Scott Noe's birthday, for example, Yay. and now I want to celebrate a, a fine group of people, or a lovely, lovely couple, who are going to come together in oh. matrimony. Oh. Bridget and Jeff are secret yeah. weapon. Oh. These guys, they're doing oh. the right thing, oh. coming together. Oh. Anything you guys want to say? Fiend Nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be in your mouths, right? Congratulations! Uh, <laughs> it will be now, thank you! Uh, you may recall that Jeff is our secret weapon from last Ladeth Kickstarter when we got totally kaflemped and couldn't start it. And he was just over in the corner, like doing some crazy. Uh, Engineering Brain board stuff. stuff and figured it all out. Board stuff. Doing all the IT things. That's 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 what I do. What can I say? <laughs> well, we're real happy for you guys and looking forward to celebrating with you too. Woo, I, think, woo. I, think it's, I think it's a, a, a great match. I'm gonna get drunk and throw up. Woo! <laughs> Fred plans on being a scandal. <laughs> you always have that one person, right? That's what Hands are coming off. Over. That's well, right. That's a good thing. Exactly. How are we doing now? 83. 83, 83. Oh. is ridiculous. We surpassed the first. Oh, right. So an 84 now. Oh, uh, well past the first. And now past now past the second, which was Damnation Game. Yeah. So I, I, a little, uh, someone whispering on my ear, and then we have, someone's having a birthday tomorrow. Oh, so, 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 so let's all, well, have a happy birthday to Sean our oh. Happy birthday! Let's sing this kid sure. a birthday on three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. cha, -cha. Happy birthday, dear Sean. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brian, and thank you, Jimmy, and thank you, Whiskey. <laughs> I know these nights, man. I know. <laughs> I know what kind of night it is. Tomorrow there will be crying. <laughs> it's all over but the For crying. more whiskey. For whiskey. Old enough to so let's see, we're checking in, we're cranking yeah. over Almost 84K in how long? Uh, nine, nine minutes, minutes 36 seconds. Nine minutes. Scott, what do you think? You're 
Broke 85. I think. I, I thought this was the Deadpool Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, hold on. The numbers are going down now. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 We don't like anymore. <laughs> Get out, Scott. <laughs> So 86.5 in, uh, yeah. I think, not so Fiend minutes. Nation, we're asking, all these people, we're thirsty. We're thirsty, and we want to have a shot of that shine. Yeah, so I'm calling out to the collector's corner. What can you do to put us over the 100 mark? I know, I'm totally ridiculous. Dennis! <laughs> Dennis! Come on, Dennis! But, well, Dennis, we need you! If you can put us over, Damn? in the next 20 minutes, we're all going to have a shot of shine. Yeah! yeah! It's good for everybody. Or whiskey. <laughs> this girl discovered whiskey like a year and a half ago. That's good. It's I good on keto. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the great justification for whiskey because it's a keto friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-seven. We're only thirteen Whoa! away from one hundred. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it, what time? In 10 minutes? Wait, this has really been 10 minutes? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what? what she said. What? <laughs> Mike McLean, do you have anything to say? Thank you. I, 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 I can Mike. tell you that pouring, and, and just, I, it, I'm flabbergasted by the support from the fiends. Thank you so much. I love writing these stories. I love working with Brian and the whole crew. It's awesome. It's a dream come true. Thank you so much for Woo -woo! supporting Mike! 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 Really fun working with Mike. And whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I are soon going to be, well, we'll put it finishing touches on Hell Witch 2. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Woo! and then we are going then to embark. Oh Actually, next God. week it's fun. We get to meet because we've written through 2019. So now we know where 2019 ends at the end of Lady Death Blasphemy Covered. Anthem coming out in the Covered. summer. Covered and, um, and we're going to actually start. You know, it's fun because we write ourselves into this corner. We know how 2019 ends. <laughs> and then we just have all these ingredients. we got to put them together. You know, we always like to wind up cramming in a lot of stuff. But then we're also going to be working together on um, uh, extreme. What is it? Ex um, Coffin Comics Extreme or Untitled, Untitled Horror, Horror Project. Project. So that'll mm. be uh, for those of you who liked uh, Evil Ernie back in the day. This ain't Evil Ernie, but I know you have that yearning because man, Evil Ernie has not been the same since you know since. Uh, he went to Santa Fe. Since he yeah. went to Santa Fe. <laughs> 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 Santa Fe is a great town. I was like, you know, like the evil Ernie titles were like Depraved, War of the Dead, Resurrection, and then Straight to Hell. Straight to Hell. And then other people got a hold of it, and it's like, Evil Ernie goes to Santa Fe. <laughs> goes, goes is such a passive verb. I mean, it's got to be. Evil Ernie. Goes. goes. Look up like lame verbs. Goes. <laughs> Sorry, a little word smithing on you. So let's see here. Just shy of 90. Just shy of 90. Are we going to have that? Shelby. Shelby. What? 90. 90. Shelby, we're going to wind up having this shot. What do you think? You know. You know, it's going to happen. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Shelby. That's why she's here. Yes. That's why she's here. That's some good. You know, for the moonshine. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Blame it on the moonshine. I did it all for the shine. The shine. So you the can shine. take that shine. That's what I'm saying. Shine, shine on. on. What? Shine crazy on. Diamond. At around 90, it's unbelievable in a real See short period of time. Each one of these Kickstarters have been more fun than the last to do. It's uh, kind of fun. We're designing them. What would people like? And guys, I I'm letting you know, this is just the beginning. Like, you know, we, we got some tricks and some fun stuff going for the campaign. After all, it's a campaign, so woo, woo. keep you excited and uh, unbalanced and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So. Can I just say how amazing the art is? I mean, it's just, like, astounding. It's She's so beautiful, and she's so ass-kicking. And I like the eye patch. I think any woman that can pull off an eye patch <laughs> is, like, um, I wonder, wow. like, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I just lost my patch. I pressed <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I'm most blown away by the metalwork. The metal's pretty cool, right? Metal. Yeah. Whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. too. Is How this you your first it? time seeing metal? Yeah. <laughs> Done like this. Metal anyways. comic book, It's, yeah. it's yeah. astounding. Yeah. Yeah. Shelby will actually yeah, put um, real Swarovski crystals on top of those, too. No not that addition, yeah. but yeah. It's gorgeous. I mean, why just have metal when you can have shiny metal? I'm not shiny metal. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> we accept you and everybody for how they are. We have a hippie in the house. It's cool. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, it's supposed to be here. 
<laughs> I'm teaching well, class you. right now. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Oops. That's amazing. So, uh, Louie. Come on over here. You attended oh, Fiend Fest. Do you want to share any feelings Louis. about the experience of Fiend Fest with the oh, folks? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, such a great time. This is Louis Martinez. Uh, came Louis. on out Louis. Fiend Fest. Thank Louis. you. Louis. Louis. Such an awesome Louis. Time. Louis. Thank you. Louis. Thank you. Louis. Sworn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fiend Fest was a great time. Uh, the culture. I love that it started off with a mixer. That was kind of like our preview night. Met people from all over the world. I mean, all over the country. Met some folks from Australia as well, and uh, I just thought it was a really cool little culture we all have here um, that Brian created, and it was just a fun time, and it was such a focused niche convention, I guess you could call it a Comic Con, yeah. a festival. Uh, I hadn't really been in anything like it before, so I, I really enjoyed it, and got me pumped for tonight to just see a preview of all the Kickstarter stuff. Yeah. Anyone else want to share anything about uh, Fiend Fest? Ambassador? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's like awesome to hasn't recovered. He he the sauce. Scott would stomach. like to share. Okay, no, no Deadpool jokes this time. Okay. Um, the artists, all the artists were, and pardon the French here, I know you said it earlier, all, all the artists were fucking happy. They, they were having a blast. They were having fun with everybody. They were doing commissions. They were making a lot of money. Um, it was it was cool, and it was uh, just a big, awesome community to be a part of. So, definitely would uh, love to see another one. <laughs> hint, hint. Hey, Dan, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> he was hinting he wants to see another one. What up, yo? He wants to see another paint fest. fest. How long? Five years? Ten years? Two, two years, years? One year? Years. Uh, next, Saturday. <laughs> next Saturday! Next Saturday! <laughs> next Saturday. <laughs> next Saturday. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. 959. Nine, yes! Nine, nine. Good song! Oh! Two years! I can taste it! So your vote is every two years? Two years? 97. You can get all those artists, because yeah. they all have schedules. Sure. Of course, you know, to get everybody well, there's there's a, give them time to find Well, another thing to consider is Quaffle Comics has contributors from all over the world. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the great Richard Ortiz, the great Don McTeague, yeah. Mike Crumb, CC De La Cruz, there's so many people that are regular contributors, it'd be kind of cool to see in an environment like that. What do you think, Troy? I think it would be fantastic to see all them all come together. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we're just shy of 98. <laughs> oh! In how many minutes? We got 17 shy. minutes. Seven. <laughs> He'll hit it before 20. All right. Troy, All right. can you tell right. Sam to open up which moonshine? I'm on it. No, we got it. We're, everything's under control. Oh. We're going to drink that shine. How am I supposed to control? <laughs> Jason! 98. Jason. Jason's not wearing black. Jason Fowler. Oh, like Jason. 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 He's super straight. Here, look at him. Look at him in his shades. Jason. 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 Black shirt. I'm always the He's the tree. I'm on the fence. I just came from teachings. No excuse. That was Mike's excuse. Oh, yeah, it came from the teacher. The teacher. Hey, what's up, Jason? Well, you're here for just a couple of minutes. This is Jason Powers and uh, Guy Caldwell. These are the guys who made the real cool 3D elements and uh, brought our uh, king skull to life. If you ever get a chance. Whoa, 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 we're at 99. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. So, Put us over, 100. Put us over. 99, 99, 99. Come, come look at it, Jimmy. Oh, 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 it's right there. Come on, put us over. Put us over. Put us over. Come on, put us over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, That's it. Oh, us. There's nothing between you and us. And we're going to bring you comic-based entertainment until the day we die. And now... Which is not long from now. <laughs> 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 Alright, Jason. Jason, 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 Jason. Now we're going to go to Santa Fe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Santa Fe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anthony's a mood killer. Debbie <laughs> <laughs> Downer. Well, 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 I think I'm without sorry. further ado, we got to go get some of that shine. Everybody in the bar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to the coffin bar. We're in HQ in uh, Arizona. We're going to go in there. 18 minutes. 18 that minutes I, I think it took like 44 minutes last time. Oh, no. We're going to make some That's right. I think we're doing so, it. So I hear you hit a goal, and it, it looks something like this. I think it says 100K in 18 minutes at the Kickstarter party. This is your napkin art. Uh, While well, some people are Kickstartering, some people are drawing and boozing it up in the, in the war room. <laughs> so here's your official napkin. Thank you. Your, your event. <laughs> Thank you. So, so let's, uh, so let's take a moment. Let's reflect. First, uh, I want my friends in the collector's corner to understand what we're doing. And take a look out of the respect that we're paying. <laughs> so I know that we have the Fiend Nation, but inside the nation, we have the Black Legion. <laughs> we have the Collector's Corner. And tonight, we're paying respect to Mike Huffman, Dennis Purdish, Dane Ellingson, Robert Bradford. And if I didn't mention your name, I could keep going. But you all are great guys. And, uh, and to all of Fiend Nation, um, we're going to have a little uh, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> So let's put it moonshine. up. Right here, it's honey. Moonshine. One for me. It's moonshine. Take, moonshine. take a look. And As they say in Blazing Saddles, excuse me while I whip this out. So here we are. Our number 14 Kickstarter launch for Lady Death's Scorched Earth, the ninth chapter in Lady Death's story. Fiend Nation is strong. My wife is lit. <laughs> Whiskey and moonshine. <laughs> this is the president of the business. Uh, it's tax season. Cut me a break. <laughs> I like to call her the queen of the damned. That's right. That's right. That's awesome. That's the queen of the damned. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's been an incredible ride the last four years. It's actually been four years since we started using Kickstarter as a publishing model and getting into brand new stories and stuff. And feedback we're getting from everybody is they're enjoying the stories that we're telling and crazy marketing and promotions. I cannot thank you guys and gals out there enough. Fiend Nation is strong and we have just begun with, between, with just us. We're taking over. So... Thanks, it just Kickstarter. thanks. Here's to Outlaw Publishing. Here's to Outlaw, outlaw Publishing. Yeah. So and look, hey, we're probably gonna sign. Hang on a second. We're gonna probably sign off in a couple of minutes. But I do want to. Um, I do want to acknowledge another pal of mine. I know he's going through a challenge. That's the one and only Jesse James. I know that he's going through some challenges. His wow. you know, his dad, and uh, that's my boy there. You guys know it. Um, big up to Jesse. We got his back again. Josh Grimsley and Jennifer Grimsley. They're going through a challenging time. The nation will rise up, and we'll do what we need to do once we get a clear picture of what's going on. Yep. But tonight, uh, tonight we celebrate the the wonderfulness that is crazy comic book pub, outlaw comic book publishing. We're gonna put this shine up, this honey shine, and then on three we're gonna say that word that we love starts with an S. On three, one, two, three. Swan! Shopping. <laughs> Chug it with holy. Dennis, you're a man. Oh, yeah. Where Dennis Parrish. I can't feel so I think we yes. just officially got Julian off the wagon. Be careful, Lamar. Oh, I need more. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, yeah. Come to me, sir. Come to me, sir. Come to me, sir. Come to me, sir. It's not part of you. See, I'm not a professional. There you go. I'm out of profession. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. It's so funny, like, so many people complained uh, that it was a little tough on him. I just, it just made everything right. Yeah. 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 I was hurt. Put it in the south. Wow. <laughs> so big up to those guys. Uh, Wow, that's amazing. All of North Carolina. <laughs> Francisca's a... Moonshine. Yeah, moonshine. <laughs> oh, you forgot the shine. <laughs> oh, shine. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Anything
thing you want to say to the people, Jimmy? <laughs> okay, your one chance. Okay, my nothing. Chance. Got nothing. I've got nothing besides swarm, besides thank you, besides you guys are awesome. Thank you and very you much. And you should really check out his it. band because they're crazy good. Oh my Calibre. God. Big up yeah. to Calibre. Yeah. They're fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Polito, Coffin Comics. Francisco Polito, thank you very much for letting me be a part of this, letting us all be a part of this. It's fucking awesome. And you're bringing so much joy to a world of sadness and hate. But we're bringing it through comic books and stories. Yes. It's, it's fucking yes. bringing so much joy Woo! and happiness. So thank you very much, guys. And thank, thank you. you. Did we introduce Sam? Yes. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I wasn't here. I was drinking whiskey. <laughs> Francisca is a good 45 seconds out of phase. <laughs> <laughs> However, official Coffin Comics bartendress at all our events is the one and only Sam. She's representing. Sam, 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 Service whiskey. Yeah. So in conclusion, one and all, I can't believe what we've already accomplished tonight. I can't even imagine what the next 29 days will bring. We'll see you soon on the road yep. at Emerald City Comic Con next week. Yep. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Let us continue the merriment. You guys have been great. We've been coughing comics. On three, we're going to say that word again, and we're going to sign off. One, two, three. Swoo!